All right, welcome back to the course. Now that we have uh, established how we're gonna look at this experiment um, and how we need to understand the idea validation framework, um, the basic terms, what's a pitch experiment, what's a hypothesis, um, how are we gonna establish whether or not the problem that we see is a problem that other people see. Now we've all gotten this past us, that was in the past section, so if you skipped over that, go back and listen to that last lecture. Now we're gonna talk about a quick thing you need to do called customer segmentation. Now, this isn't something that should take you very long. I honestly think it'll only take you, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, um, especially if you're really thinking on it hard. Um, but what customer segmentation is with regards to validating your idea and running one of these quick, uh, rapid experiments uh, is that we need to think of who is going to use our app, website, product, service, or idea who's gonna benefit from it, and who has a problem that this solution is solving. Um, so the first thing that you would do is you need to identify what exactly is the problem. Um, and most of you, if you have an idea, you probably already know what the, the problem is because that's probably how you came upon this idea. You probably had a problem and thought of a solution to solve it, or you identified a problem that someone else has that you're familiar with, and you looked up, um, a way of solving it. So if you haven't already done that, it's kind of simple. Um, you probably should have a problem. Now, if you had an idea that's just some kind of cool service, now you need to think backwards and think, who's going to use this? What value is it going to give to the people who use it? And then what exactly now is that problem that it's being solved? Is it a problem or is it just something that's a convenience? If it's a convenience, you can still frame this as a problem. So in the idea that we used previously, it was a happy hour uh, mobile application, right? Now, what is the problem that's being solved here? Well, the problem I would see is that there are bars out there that have happy hours and they're probably not getting enough customers. So they need some kind of outlet for getting their information out there. And on the flip side, there are probably people who want happy hours, want cheap drinks, but they're just not familiar with what's in the area, what's available, what are the specials out there. Um, right now, you know, the best way of getting your information out if you're a bar or a restaurant that has a sale, it's Yelp. And Yelp is a very old system. Um, a lot, everyone uses it, but no one's happy with it. They list everything kind of like a directory. So there's no real area for, um, uh, say like happy hours in my space. I know they do have a button that you can click happy hours, but it just doesn't work very well. Um, and they don't really have a focus on that feature. It's just another button. And if you know Yelp, Yelp has a lot of problems. Um, just the other day I was searching for a uh, haircut and what's the number one thing that shows up when I search haircut, it was a Vietnamese restaurant. I don't know how that happens, um, but that's just Yelp. They have a tagging system, whatever. The point is though, uh, the problem I'm trying to solve is I think that happy hours are a underserved uh, kind of product or service. Uh, and I think that the people giving happy hours are having a hard time of getting that information out and the people who are looking for them having a hard time of, of uh, time finding them. <laughs> Yeah.